it's a bit of a yeah so so you get the idea so we've imported that profile now you may also have noticed that I asked the question what are um, and I've programmed it to do that in here so you click this little guy that looks like a vampire with a, a stake through his heart and you can right click on any of these and edit them now when you're editing them when I say is ticked at the top here what is beer or tell me about beer separated by a colon okay just put a space in there actually um, and that colon is if I ask it one of these two things so if I say what is beer or tell me about beer if I say one of those two phrases it will respond with uh, the given command which is here now that's just about editing the commands that you've imported that's in my sound pack so you can put in I need to know about beer mate and um, you'll have the same thing and you just click OK and done and, and it'll do that so if for instance I change this, change this to beer what is it please okay instead of what we've just done and click OK and done beer what is it please beer is a popular alcoholic beverage Drinking beer in space is the main cause of catastrophe when trying to dock. Okay, so you get the general idea, but um, if I wasn't happy with that for any reason, I can right click on it in here. It's the green one because it's a recognized command. I can edit that and put in uh, what is beer. I'll put a colon in like that, a space, uh, and put back in tell me about beer. And that's it. And once I click OK and done, that's superseded now what I'm, the, the, the other command that I wrote in. So it's, it's pretty easy to just edit the, uh, the structure of the questions that I've been asking it. Um, you may have a different way of asking it. Or, you, you know, you may not have, your language may not be English. You might like the English responses. You may want to put in your own stuff with your language pack. I don't know. But that's how you edit those. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to import another profile. I'll do that now for you. Um, so we click on this uh, vampire staked, <laughs> and we'll come down here and click import. This time we'll import the constellations, which are all of the answers to what are what you know what is borealis, australis, and Aries and Cassiopeia and all of that. There's 88 of them in there. We'll import that one. Um, they're all there as you can see so we'll click import and now they've been added to this profile okay so we've now got both the stock market commodities and we've also got the constellations okay right here we go let's now import another profile um, this one will be the Galaxipedia which is all about the universe and those types of things so let's let's do that um, and import now you can see this command list here has grown somewhat so we can now ask it all sorts of things um, what have we got down here look okay let's click done what is the greenhouse effect greenhouse effect an increase in temperature caused when incoming solar radiation is passed but outgoing thermal radiation is blocked by the atmosphere Carbon dioxide and water vapor are two of the major gases responsible for this effect. Okay, so they work straight out of the box. All of those will, will work. If you're not sure about the command structures or what you need to ask to get these answers, again, if you click on, once you've imported all of these profiles, you can then click export on everything that's in the list that's there. And click export again now instead of exporting it as a VAP file which is a voice attack profile which we've been importing we can actually export that as a quick reference list HTML file so let's see what happens if we if we um, if we do that I'll just uh, put bung that on the desktop so if we click Save now look these are the choices it gives us we can show the commands show the keyboard shortcuts which is handy I'll get to that in a minute uh, show categories and show description show actions well we'll just we'll just leave the lot in there for now um, let's just click OK uh, we'll nip to the desktop to see where it's put that so now we can just um, open that no 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 um, 
yeah there we are yeah no that's right actually so okay so this is how I ask all of the things that you see in the left that can all be edited that you're not interested in having so what is an energy drink or what are energy drinks if you wanted to change that to um, tell me about energy drinks you would change that within the profile so you might want to just look down to see if all of these things suit you and the one or two that don't because I think most of them probably will like all the constellations if I want to know about them I've put my I ask I, I do it like this constellation crux and it will then just tell me what the constellation is um, so and it's a mouthful all that by saying those things it's enough so I've left it like that but if you want to say what is constellation hydra you can uh, the same goes for everything else that's in the uh, um, in the Galaxipedia and all of those other things, etc., etc. The same with the commodities market. Um, now we can also export it with sh show the keystrokes for it. Uh, let's just have a look to see how that works. Um, so export again. Actually, there are no keys for these. So okay, fine. All right, I'm now going to make a new profile. Um, just quickly, I'll quickly do that. Create new profile, new profile for YouTube 2. Okay, we'll do that. This time we're just going to import the commands which I've shipped with with um, uh, the voice pack. So let's go down to program files. We'll drill all the way down to voice attack, sounds, HCS pack. This time, when we go into profiles for add ons, this one here, um, let's just big that up a little bit more for you. Uh, this one here says entire profile. Now that contains the Galaxipedia, the commodities, the constellations, the, the lot, and my key commands. Now my key commands will be very different from yours. So I'll show you how you edit those now. So first of all, let's import the whole lot in one go. Import. So there we are, 666 commands. Um, and that is purely a coincidence, by the way. I'm, I'm not Lucifer or, or anything. That's, yeah. Anyway, moving on. If we look quickly at uh, some of the, um, well, I've called them warp in the category. Let's look at the command for 25%. Um, now, 25% is basically quarter impulse power for your spaceship, or 20% throttle if you're in Star Citizen. And I've got it to respond with with this voice at the moment. So let's just see what happens if I say 25%. 25%. 25% engaged. So it responds with that command. But you may want to change what I've pre-configured. So we click edit this command. We go down to the play sound element, and what we would do for that is, well, let's just delete it. Let's let's frighten ourselves now. Take it out of there. Anyway, this is how you choose a sound. So we're going to click other. In the drop-down menu here, we've just got lots of options. You can look at those. We're going to play a sound. We're going to go to that area, which is program files, voice attack sounds, HS pack. This time, uh, for me, that will be main drive. I'll go to the 25% responses, and there's a few here. I'm just going to go with this one now. Understood 25%. Click open. Uh, OK. OK, so that's changed. What I'll do now is just click OK. Done. And we'll see what it does now. 25%. Understood. 25%. So there you go. You can go right through the voice pack and, and do all of that. OK, the other thing is, um, while we're on this 25%, you can do this for all your commands. If you go to edit, you can see which key I'm using as 25% uh, for my engine. And it's the right hand side of the keyboard, number pad one I use for that. If you want to change that, so I'm going to just delete that out of there. Um, so I want it when I say this. I'm going to replace what I've just deleted, by the way. So when I say any of this stuff, main drive, 25% or 25%, please, I want it to do the following. Key press being um, the number pad, number one. So I press that once. It's uh, recorded how long it took me, which is a, you know, a very small percentage of a second. It's going to click OK, and that's back in there. So it will say the sound 
and it will press the key for you so any keys that I've got pay attention to what they are okay oh, that says the end key so I've, I've, I've muffed that up but um, let's just edit that let's just delete that one out there and try again other um, players no not that we want other sorry key press press a key and release yeah well I better do that now so we're gonna do go with the number one on there press OK press end key and hold for Ah, oh, it's got that down as end key I wonder why that is if I've got number lock going or something anyway whatever key you press will be configured for your game they'll be different to mine so go into your game set up your keys make a note of what they are come back in here and just edit my keys or copy my keys whichever is easiest for you but again it is a little bit of a pain setting that aspect of it up but it's worth it um, for the immersion and having Astra next to you in the ship you know it's it's worth it I hope that's been helpful if you need anything else or if you you want to know about any resources or where you might find other profiles give me an email please understand we can't ship hundreds of profiles there are security elements to consider and this sort of thing um, but you know I'm, I'm up for helping people with profiles if you send me an email I'll point you in the right direction to get other profiles many thanks for watching